Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Catch It Up on my YouTube channel. I do your solar eclipse reading uh, for the 10th of June 2021. Keep in mind, uh, Sagittarius is a general reading, probably well known right for all of you. But if you do like my channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you want. I would be very thankful and grateful to support my channel. And then something else, if you want to have a prayer reading with me, you'll find all the information on the description down below. Now let's see what's going on for you guys for the solar eclipse in Gemini on the June 10th. So a very, for the collective, very important um, event. Now let's see what's going on for you guys. My love team, please tell me about my Sagittarius. What need Sagittarius need to know for this solar eclipse? My love team. What Sagittarius need to know, my love team? Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting, waiting, and waiting that something is going up. Uh, could be a business, could be a relationship that you're waiting, if, or, you, if, or you don't know if you should waiting to invest. Because this is waiting here. Like, come on, when is go up my big coin? Big offer here, Ace of Pentacles. Um, you have something in your mind that you want to invest, have the feel such. Reason past, lovers, and the eight of cups. Probably you had to leave a way, or you had to leave a situation behind that you probably thought was your soul connection. Someone that probably um, was, um, you were in love with, or someone left you. But I have to feel it's more you that you left behind because didn't um, make you any more happy. Five of cups, new future. Feeling sad, abandoned, regret, remorseful, miss of the opportunity, your challenge to still be happy. The sun, Leo energy. It's almost like too good that I, or it's almost impossible that I'm be happy again. Let's see. Give me the possible outcome, my love team. Queen of Swords, demanding truth, nothing but the truth. Um, the Queen of Swords is someone that knows exactly what they went through. They went through to something very, very difficult, and now demanding, uh, and they know exactly. This Queen knows exactly what they want into their life. Uh, after a battle, after a huge battle, after disappointment, um, now someone is uh, not willing anymore for uh, compromising, no more, um, yeah, no compromising, this is a right word, right word, page of one, so want to want to take uh, action, good news, making something here uh, special, and again, after feel it's you, Sarge, uh, try to move on from this um, sadness, it's like, uh, I thought only with this person I couldn't be happy, but uh, no, that don't think that way, uh, please. Um, but you know what, let's clarify. Give me the Eight of Cups and the Lovers, my love team. Queen of Cups in reverse, and then uh, for the Lovers. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you didn't feel that this person uh, didn't give you so much uh, love, so much attention. Um, again, or you left this behind. Behind, I have to feel probably mutual uh, that you decide to leave each other. Again, it could be that you left or the other person it doesn't matter. Someone left here a connection that they were not fulfilling anymore. Need to go emotionally say, you know what, goodbye. Uh, you don't give me clarity, you are not enough um, um, seeing clear like I do. Probably this person was not uh, clear like you uh, did or vice versa, but someone left here, someone thought something here, a very, a very special connection back then, and uh, because I feel also that uh, someone uh, gave um, so much effort, uh, they didn't show it, um, enough love. So uh, someone here decides to leave abandon in this situation. Give me the seven of pentacles for the current energy. 
Give me the seven. The king of wands and the sun. Someone is having an eye on you. Sag, someone has an eye on you. And you know if you still wait, if you should still wait. Could be also another Sagittarius, but it's a fire sign here also. That it's very, very attractive to you, Sag. It could be also you. Um, depends. If you are a masculine uh, Sag, probably that you're waiting, you know, that you are have an eye on someone that you know when to take action. If you're a feminine um, Sagittarius and um, a masculine personality has a big, big eye on you. And you don't know if you should still wait to have something, to have another connection, another relationship, or you should still work on yourself. You don't know uh, on this time period what you should do. But this person, I have to feel uh, it's very, um, very um, serious about you. Eight of Cups in reverse. They hope, really? Someone from the past. It's coming back. Okay. This person, the love, the person behind in the past, they want to come back and give another offer, firm offer. But it could be also that you have one person from the past is coming back and someone new also, um, Saj. But I see the past is returning, ten of wands, because it's very difficult to be without you, Saj. It's very difficult. It's almost like in mission impossible, Saj, without you. Uh, but again, I don't. Could be that it's the same person that they change, and now they um, and you don't know if you should to take them back. But this could be also it's a, also a new person. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. I think that you have no feeling that much anymore for the past person. Could be vice versa, as I take a resonate. But I have to feel that you are not feeling anymore that in love or into this person, and you are more think about this new person. <laughs> like a novella, like a soap opera. Give me the five of cups for the new future. Give me the five of cups. No, there are too many. There are too many. I saw the six of cups. Give me the five of cups. The emperor, Aries energy, and the temperance in reverse. Um, you are having no time yet, I have to feel to handle probably two situations. I have to feel, again, the, uh, the past is coming back and there is someone new here. I have to feel right now you're still healing for something here that was creating you a lot of um, sadness. You're trying to do everything to, uh, to take your power back, especially. But right now you don't have patience, I have to feel, for uh, right now for something, a new relationship, I have to feel. The Queen of Wands and the uh, Five of Cups again. Again, um, to be honest with you, which I am, so I have to feel that you all think about this new person. It's, it's, uh, but I have to feel that you, you know the first you need to heal, you know, healing process, it's very important uh, to go through. But you know that this person probably could, can make you very happy and you can make the other person very happy also but takes some time to heal because the healing is not happening overnight, right, Saj? So, the char charismatic, the car the ca ca karmic, no, the karmic, no karmic, um, charisma, it's very high between you guys. You think about each other a lot with a new person, uh, but they are not giving up on you. And you think of what you should do, but again, don't make you any pressure, Saj. Give me the Queen of Swords. I have the feel that you're letting go uh, the, um, the old. Uh, goodbye the old and welcome the new. Give me another one. Yeah. 
you learn your lesson. Queen of Swords, the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Three of Swords in reverse. You learn your lesson. Uh, no anymore. The soon as you're not expecting that, at least are you expecting that, um, you will be healed. Then this will be very, very quickly. Uh, quickly, click, no. Uh, soonest that you think, such. And that uh, you will decide what is good for you and accept. Wow, look at that, this good news. And again, the King of Wands, I have you here in the center. Wow. All right, looks beautiful. Thank you so much, Sash, for being here. I'll come here soon in my next reading. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.